what's going on sweet gang it's your girl rochelle back in the building with this video as promised the pacifier baby candy apple here gonna give you life give this video 400 likes i know you can do it share this video come on share the love y'all before we get started you know it's your girl rochelle back with another video and i'm coming to get you life and to get you connected on this baby apple today i want to thank you all um for getting those 300 likes that i asked and y'all did it y'all did it i want to congratulate y'all and i just wanted to see who all was paying attention who all listening and i know you all are i read your comments i am getting to as many requests as possible i'm waiting on some supplies to come in as well so those golden apples silver apples will be coming soon okay so hold on to your seats they will be coming soon but we ain't gonna wait too long if you're new to my channel i welcome you to your sweet connection i'm rochelle and i'm here to give you life if you are if you don't already know go ahead and check out some of my other videos but we are getting ready to get into this video so here we have i have chocolate already in my bucket already melt melted well in my bucket which i'm going to melt in a minute i have a wilton's piping bag i have some pink fat daddy o's fondant and i have my rolling pin i have my spoon to mix my to stir up my chocolate and i have another little small spatula for my other chocolate which is this black wilton's chocolate okay i also have a piping tip that i'm going to use and i have this heart cutter which i actually broke it down to where it can be smaller so it's actually a bigger heart but i brought it in for it to be smaller okay also i have some brushes that i'm going to be using as well and i also have um my little knife and my little sculpting tool okay i have some piping gel here um which this is mirror glaze piping gel and i have some coil black that I'm going to use and of course my granny Smith already clean apples and I've already prepared for this apple to be set and ready and as you see it's already coated it's chocolate um, it's Merkin's chocolate um, that I had dipped in this is not Wilton's but it's Merkin's also got my glass for my piping gel when I get ready to um, pour in my other chocolate so we're gonna go ahead and get started I'm going to melt um, my chocolate um, being that I didn't have my bag and you didn't see me put it in this bucket this container this is some reserved chocolate that I already had so what you want to do is find you a nice pail or a nice container that is is deep deep enough so where you can dip your apples and come out with a clean surface as such as this one okay you want to have that good clean surface um, for any of your um, apples uh, that are chocolate so I got me a container here that I'm going to reheat in my microwave for 30 seconds and when reheating chocolate, you want to do it in 30 second intervals. So I will come back to you with my chocolate melted 
and we're gonna go ahead and get started all right so now that I have my chocolate melted uh, I melted it took about two took me twice it was about twice that I melted this chocolate in 30 second intervals, okay? And this is the consistency that um, you should want, okay? When you get ready to dip your apple. So, if you've seen my previous videos on how I dip my candy apples, is the same way I dip my chocolate apples okay so tilting it as so I want to make sure you guys see this taking the apple which is already clean okay and I'm gonna move these back and making sure that it's smooth okay and just turn and come straight up now what you want to do if you want to tap if you want to tap your chocolate oh I want to watch my hands tapping the stick will tap off the extra chocolate if you swing your um, apple too much your chocolate will start to separate meaning you'll start seeing it seeing lines in your chocolate and you don't want to do that and sometimes if your chocolate is not melt melted correctly then you will get that separation uh, as well also keep in mind that you want to make sure that your apple is completely dry your chocolate is completely dry before you even do anything to it okay I'm going to place sitting down and I'm pleased with that and then I'm gonna go ahead and dip my other apple Okay, dipping it and turning it just like if it was my candy apple. Now, even though I didn't close the top, I'm adding more chocolate to the top of that. And that is going to be the hair of the baby. So I'm really not worried about um, covering it completely because I'm going to add more chocolate to the top anyway. Okay. And if you have bubbles that is popping up, take your nice pen uh, or your sculpting po pointing tool and just pop it. Okay. And you want to make sure you have a good clean bottom. And I always like to scrape the bottom of my apples and placing it down as so. If you start getting feet at the bottom of your chocolate, go ahead and remove it out that spot. And just put it over into another section of your mat. And you won't have that feet. Okay. But it still has to be wet before you move it. Okay. Same for here. I'm just going to move it over. So that my chocolate won't have the feet. Okay. We're going to go ahead and get started on melting since that since those were are done i'm gonna melt 
the black chocolate and we're going to get started on this apple so be right back okay so i am back and i have started to melt the black chocolate and as you see here this is the first um first go around that i started off with the chocolate and normally um the first go round doesn't melt all the way then the second go round you go in again for 30 seconds um and my mistake this is the second go round first time did melt just a little bit second time this is what it came out to be but you want to work your chocolate around um your bowl which this is a glass bowl chocolate work uh melts better when you have a glass container glass bowl glass cup because the heat of the glass is what is melting your chocolate so i normally just work around the chocolate um as so till i get all the candy melts up against the glass or glass container so that it can go ahead and melt okay and the consistency I want is this but I want it to be a little bit more thinner but because this black looks off color I'm going to go ahead and add some liquid gel food coloring to my chocolate I want you guys to see when adding food color to chocolate what it does okay I'm adding three drops of the black and I'm going to incorporate that in mixing as so making sure that it's equally combined now this is what I want you to see how the chocolate sees up okay and a lot of you that know that um, does treats you know when you add food coloring and the certain type of food coloring you add to chocolate your chocolate sees it gets to thicken okay so those new treat makers when you do this you panic something's wrong don't worry okay so what I want to show you is that um, you can add some oil which this is the oil this is coconut oil that I use and I'm just going to add some to it I didn't measure it out you want to add at least I say one tablespoon for to this is actually one package that I added into this bowl okay so you just mix it around and if you have to put it back in the microwave you can do so but I'm just showing you how to work out your chocolate okay it's workable don't panic go throw it away now you do get chocolate that do get old and just don't work so what I'm going to do because I have clumps in it I'm going to put it back in the microwave for at least 15 seconds okay alright so I removed it from the microwave and I added one teaspoon of coconut oil and now I'm just going to smooth it out okay And as I smooth it out, it is not as black as I want it to be. That's okay um, for tutorial purposes. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is add it to my piping bag. Um, adding the chocolate to the piping bag 
Um, I like to pipe on the hair. So I'm just adding it to this cup. And then I'm going to add some chocolate to the bag. And this should be enough that I'm adding. Okay. Slipping it up. Pulling it down. You want to bring your chocolate down to the end. As so. And then you want to take your scissors. When you cut your bag, make sure you pull back the chocolate. So that it won't spray out when you cut it. And I'm going to cut not too small, not too big, but big enough where my chocolate can come out um, a little bit heavy, heavy than normally when you, like if you're piping, um, uh, making sh uh, strips of straw with the strawberries. But... What I'm getting ready to do is use my, one of my brushes here, okay, and so that you all can see, I'm just going to start piping around the top. as a circle and I'm just going to take my brush and uh, so you can see and work my way around as applying the hair okay now you don't have to use a brush And remember, you want to work as swiftly as possible before your chocolate dry up. Now, I like to just make wiggly lines like it's, you know, the hair is curly. And just coming this way or just making even with my brush I like to use the uh, pointed brush and what I'm doing is making I remember the chocolate is going to dry up quickly. I'm concentrating over here. Okay. And it's not dry here. And when you start seeing it dry up, you don't want to touch it no more. Just add some more chocolate. And I'm just going to come around here. And here. I just like made a, a baseline of the hairline. So taking this other brush and just working... working the hair back and if you want to take it and just make like you're doing sideburns or uh, and just make like some 
uh, uh, a pattern. To where it's just going to formulate so pretty. And I'm just doing a, like a hair pattern. Just making the swivel coming down. And trying to move swiftly before the chocolate. And here. And that is what you basically do. For the baby's hair. making lines and here I'm just gonna if I had my little pointed uh, another pointed brush but as you see That is what you basically do for the hair. Okay? And it's like making a face frame. You want to face frame it. Even if you want to start out just framing off the face and going around. But you don't want to frame off the face um, and not give your little baby hair. So you want to frame off the frame face get leaving baby the little baby hair um, around there and then work yourself around the apple okay so basically face framer face leaving some baby hair having a pointed brush or um, something pointy where is going to give the pointed ends as you see here okay and you see it's, it's drying up fairly quickly okay now you want to take your food coloring now normally I have um, uh, art paint edible art paint you can um, get everything that I use I'm leaving the description for you where you can order from um, and a lot of stuff I do get um, as wholesale and I also use um, order from busybeebakers.com busybeebakersupplies.com and uh, delectable candy creation um, they're both on uh, have a website and on Instagram and I will leave that link below as well as Q uh, Quitters supplies I leave um, all three supply um, suppliers in my description okay now if you can see that I am getting my brush lubricated up with the black to do her eyes okay this apple is very simple very simple okay and if you can see I am doing her eyes Here, here, okay. Um, with this food coloring on the chocolate, you want to make sure that it dries and, and try not to smear it. But it's best to use um, poppy paint or uh, edible art food coloring. It's art paint. It's edible art paint that you can use. 
And I'm going to go ahead and give her some lashes. Uh-oh, I don't want to look like she's crying. Okay, and I'm going to make sure... I'm concentrating because I don't want to mess up these her lashes. Letting that dry. Okay. Now while you're letting that dry, oh her eyes don't look right to me. But she's looking gorgeous. While you're waiting for her eyes to dry you want to get you um a mold that has ribbons and this is the mold that i um got from wilton uh no michaels this came from michaels and um it has some bows on here that i want to use and i'm going to use this bow in this section and i'm just going to roll off me a piece of find it break off me a piece to find it and just press down let me knead it out because it has to be smooth when applying it okay i hope you all are following me okay okay so i'm going to just add some find it to this section of the um, bow and you don't want to add too much you just want to have enough where it's going to cover and if you see how I am working this off here okay so now that I have the find it in the mold you just simply bend it and it'll come right out. Okay? Before you apply your bow to her head, you want to let it form a little bit. Okay? And just sit it there. So once again, I'm going to move her over. Once again, adding the find it to the bow section and you're just pressing it in for so that the find it can fill in the space to form the bow okay don't worry what the back gonna look like but you want to make sure that it's all in as so And you don't want to put too thin either. So just enough where it's just leveling off. And so bending it out. To where it's going to form that bow. Nice little pink bow. Okay, so we got two more babies. So I want to show you how. I'm going to go ahead and finish this one. Um, add in some more. Let me see if this is going to be enough. I'm going to need some more find it. And you're just basically adding it to this section. And if it look like it's bulking outside the line of the bow mold, just, just rub it off and take a section off. Okay? as so and bending it and you have your bow okay so when doing these apples you want to make sure you get your smaller pieces and prep them out first and set them to the side 
Now, I want to show you how smooth, it still ain't all the way dry, but I just want to show you how smooth your chocolate can come out to be when doing it um, in a deeper container, okay? And the same for this one. Same for this one okay and I'm not gonna worry about that's not filled in because I'm adding more chocolate to the top anyway okay so once again showing you how to do the chocolate I'm adding chocolate to the top okay and I'm just going to show you how to frame off the face again. Okay. This time I'm going to use this brush. See, if you use a smaller brush and bringing the edges out like it's baby hair. And then just coming back here. with with the uh, hair oh picked up too much and just coming on around here okay it's just working the chocolate around your baby your baby's head basically okay And you want to like form I'm sorry if you can't see form a pattern sorry y'all if you can't see forming a pattern on your baby head okay So that's what I meant about the front. It's just coming around. See that? And just like that. Now I'm going to add some more chocolate because it's drying out. And just looking at her head here. And I'm going to just come on around here. Come down. Come in the middle. As so. Come down here. And just coming around. Now I'm taking a bigger brush and just... working it in because you don't want it to dry out and then you have a big clump in the head and taking a smaller brush and bringing get that baby hair out okay getting the baby hair Okay, and making sure I gotta add more chocolate. Oh, let me get this side before it dries out. And that's pretty much what you're doing when you do it a size just taking small pieces and coming around okay 
my chocolate is drying quickly. So I'm going to just go ahead and get some on there and just work the rest of it in. Okay. Just as so. Working it in, working that, uh, those spots where it got patches. Okay. It's just forming a pattern for the hair, basically. That's all you're doing. Get some of these spots here. Forming the spots for the hair. All right. And there we go. Take that off right there. And there you have it. The hair. The hair right here on the sides. And what we're going to do, let that dry. And I'm going to wash out my brush. Come back and do the eyes with you. Alright, so now I got my brush uh, washed up. I'm going to come back and do these eyes with you. Um, and remember, it's better to use some poppy paint or edible art um, paint. Um, right now I'm using just black food coloring to form her eyes. And... Just lining it up. Along here. For her eyes. Okay. Not too much black. You don't want it to be heavy. Then I'm going to add her uh, lashes. Okay. Then going to the other side. Adding the other side of her lashes. Okay, that's what I didn't want to do. Okay, that's why you have to be careful when using this paint, Jesus. And just to clean that up, you just can get some paper towel and take that off. Okay. So now I have two babies done. Okay. So I'm going to get out the piping gel and I'm going to go ahead and add her bow. So I'm just going to take the brush and add a little bit of pi um, piping gel to the back, back. Or you can use chocolate. Whichever one you prefer. Um, I really prefer to use chocolate. But I'm going to go ahead and add her bow on to her head. Okay. And um, this that's CC and that's Mimi, Mimi and CC. Okay, we got Mimi and CC, and I'm adding Mimi's bow to her hair. And now for the pacifier. Let's clean.
clean this up. Pacifier is simply making out the heart. Okay. Needing to find it. And we're going to roll out just enough um, to make her um, pacifier. Real simple. So rolling it out. And I thank you all for watching and tuning in. This was one video that was highly requested. And I hope you guys are enjoying this video. Okay. So taking my heart shape cutter and cutting out one heart and then cutting out another taking the extra off I can just pull that and just push that in okay so what I'm going to do is clean up the sides with my sculpting tool and round off the pacifier just a little bit better okay and same for this one rounding it off a little bit more better okay then I'm going to take another piece of find it not too big rolling it in my the palm of my hand and I'm just going to form the shape where the binky has that little hook this is what's going to go in the center what the little hook hangs off of okay and I'm not even going to add any any chocolate to it just a little piping gel on the back just a tad bit and adding that to the center squaring it off and I'm going to take a small piece and roll out to have the handle part of the pacifier to go around the thick part in the center okay and using my little knife here cutting that off and just cutting a little bit of piece off from that end I am going to add it to the side of the binky. Taking my sculpting tool. Okay, taking a sculpting tool and just putting it on the side to where it's going to stay. You don't want this piece too big. Um, just enough. I think I made it too small. To hang off. And then you want to take your piping tip and make the holes that that be right on the side of the pacifier y'all know those little two holes that be right on the side of the pacifier it's just taking a piping tip you can have one smaller I got black on my fingernails and just removing that 
and just taking a knife and that's how you form her binky this is gently getting it up now if you have extra coming off of your binky just take your sculpting tool and just press just find it down on the side so you can clean it up a little bit okay want it to be look and be neat as possible that's just me I'm somewhat a perfectionist now taking the baby centering the binky to be like in the center between her two eyes and that is your baby the pacifier baby <laughs> there you have it did I give y'all life or what okay I hope everybody followed me well and everybody understand how this go and I think she looks cute what you think if you think she looks cute and I gave you life and just connected you leave it in the comment section below okay if you have any questions leave it in the comment section below and if you're new to my channel go ahead and subscribe you do not want to miss what I have in store for you and I came and gave you life even with being tired I still come on here and give you life check out my um, social medias um, I'll leave all that information in the description below but I just gave you live they're cute even though I got to put a pacifier on but it's your girl Rochelle signing out time I gotta go you know what Ro do signing out it's your girl Ro gotta go but i'll see you in the next video bye bye